And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. That's a part of our epistle reading from last Sunday, from Romans chapter 8. God works all things for the good of his church. He works all things for the good of the baptized. He works all things for your good. It's a familiar verse among Christians, I think because it helps people cope with life's difficulties. Can you think of a time when the truthfulness of that verse was shown to you in what was happening in your life? A time when you were humbled by difficulties, but then God raised you up. Who in the Bible comes to mind when you think about that verse, Romans 8.28? Maybe Joseph in the book of Genesis. Remember how his brothers hated him and sold him into bondage and told their dad that Joseph was dead? Some 20 years later, Joseph could see the good that came from that. That's when he says, You meant it for evil, selling him into bondage. But God intended it for good, to bring about what is now happening, the saving of many lives. Joseph could see that because of what his brothers did, his family had a place to go to escape the famine that was ravaging the land. Daniel is another person that comes to mind. You remember how he was cast into a lion's den? That sounds like a difficulty. Daniel was cast into the lion's den, but miraculously he survived the night. And King Darius, who was an important man in that time and place and who witnessed this miracle, he wrote a letter that sounds a little bit like Old Testament evangelism. He wrote a letter praising the God of Daniel. And I'm going to read a couple of verses from Daniel chapter 6. This is part of the good that God brought out of Daniel being cast into the lion's den. This is part of King Darius's letter from Daniel chapter 6. I issue a decree that in every part of my kingdom people must fear and reverence the God of Daniel. For he is the living God, and he endures forever. His kingdom will not be destroyed, and his dominion will never end. He rescues and he saves. He performs signs and wonders in the heavens and on the earth. He has rescued Daniel from the power of the lions. Then Jesus also comes to mind when I think about Romans 8:28. He endured the trials and tribulations of the cross, but God brought good from that. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, and the good that God brings from the trials and tribulations of Jesus and his crucifixion is our salvation. And so we have a place in heaven for eternity and the promise of resurrection from the grave. That's the good that God brought from that thing, from the suffering and death of Jesus, our salvation. God works all things for the good of his church, for your good. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that in your boundless wisdom, you work all things for the good of your church. Sustain us with childlike faith in this truth until we are at last safe for eternity in our heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen.